Hi guys, welcome back to Africa on a Plate. Today we're at Tokai Earth Fair Market. So what inspires you to get your producers in? It's, a, it's, it's actually quite difficult because it's a new concept. There's a lot of markets that have opened yeah. up in South Africa, especially yeah. in Cape Town. Yeah. But a lot of them are eating drinking markets. Yes. So to get the farmer to yeah. come with their produce and sell it fresh at the market right. is, is a process. And, right. and it's starting to happen. What else we're seeing here is that this olive oil that she has, um, basically is very good for cooking because it takes a higher degree of temperature. So you still maintain all the nutrients, you still maintain the olive oil's flavor when you're cooking at high heat. We have an olive tapenade. I see that the only ingredients are black olives, capers, fresh garlic, rosemary, thyme, parsley, olive oil, lemon juice, and black pepper. So pretty much no preservatives, just all fresh ingredients. come here just to join community, to sit at these tables yeah. where you make a conversation with people, and feel comfortable. And that's what we wanted, that's why I spoke about a future concept where those small businesses don't necessarily want to worry about the electricity bill, the rent, yeah. and all the details. And, and our concept is to grow into something like that where a butcher can set up and operate right. under Earth Fair Market right. and people are coming to the village square yeah. where the yes. butcher is, the yes. baker yeah. is. So they're getting the whole, the whole fridge worth in one little place and they're eating there for dinner with the kids and then they go home afterwards. That's, that's, that's where we'd like to see it going. Awesome um, stuff. Tell me, where about is your farm? Uh, it's up in the Hurt Vintel Mountains, okay. about two hours came from Cape Town. Uh, all the pig rearing is done there, it's all organic and free range. Uh, we also do the, the air curing and the smoking on the farm. Uh, and then we've got a depot in Ronbosch where we do all the cutting uh, and, all the, and all the sealing and the packaging and everything's down there. Now I'm very keen to test some of your chorizo. Can I taste yeah, some? Yeah, yeah, please do help yourself. This one here, right? Uh, okay. This one's the chorizo, yeah? yeah. I like that look, that little fire that you said it's supposed to have. And it's hanging around. <laughs> Tuna bolt on. Is that even done though? Is that even done? Tuna bolt on. No fat, no sinew, no cholesterol, fully all protein, you've got five to six punch shell blood, and no salt, salty taste in a natural salt. Tuna bolt on, that's the first. Do you fish it yourself? Family business. Really? Yeah, it's full of chair. And there we go. The first tuna bolt on supply in South Africa. All natural, South African made. Only on African and a place will you find new fresh products like this. I'm starting to get over the fact that I just had some tuna built on, which looks like beef. It has the same texture like beef. Um, it tastes similar to what a beef built on would be like, but it smells exactly like fish. 100% South African. Um, on the green list, yay, we like that. And he's the first guy doing it, or it's a family business, first, first, first people doing it in South Africa. Hooray to them. <laughs> 